Hello, my friends. I mean you. Yes, you. Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. Today's video is an exciting video because it's a follow-up on the EVOR04 display that we've added to a DCC 951 and 730 stationary player. We've had a lot of feedback on those videos, but the main complaint was that people would have to take the front cover off and actually create a hole into it to make that EVOR04 stick. And the main question was like, could we get a new front or something similar that is more plug and play and aftermarket? Well, of course, with a new big front cover, like on the 951 and 730, that is very hard. But I started to think on the possibilities and came up with the idea to do this for the portables of the DCC. To make actually the ugliest side, the back of these covers are the 170 and 175 more beautiful by adding a display. The back cover is sort of complicated, so we got help from Harry Sonderen, his company Technocat redesigned a new cover, and in this video, we're gonna show you how we fitted this EVO04 display into both portables. So here we have the 04 slimline display. This is the front, of course, and the back. And in order to make this as thin as possible, we're gonna take the connectors for input and voltage off as well as this capacitor 47 microfarad we want to replace that with a tantalum in order to make it as thin as possible so that the new cover doesn't have to be that thick we're going to create two versions one of them with a switch that you can turn the display on or off these are of course the tantalum capacitors and in order to fit the middle screw we have to get a longer and 1.4 times 12 millimeters in order to get the new cover closed so we started with the two designs the 175 because that's the one i like the most and the 170 which is most likely the most used portable next to the first generation panasonic and philips 130 you can see that the back covers the design harry made are different because of these slots we added some uh, some some height here and of course the front bezel now has a nice hole, including that screw, which has to fit that 12 millimeter screw. This is from design. It took a lot of tries of at least 20 different designs to make this work. And we're gonna show you how this came out of the printer. So we recently got an Endo 3D Pro printer, so it's easily to test the designs Harry came up with. We've added, of course, the hole for the switch. This one will not have a switch. It will always be turned on. The battery life on the new 18650 batteries that we create for these portables makes this display run. We've tested this for about 75 minutes, so that's great. But if you want the display to be turned off, we can actually add a switch. We also added in the original design some bars. This bar also doubles as a bracket so that display will only fit in one way. On the side here, on both, we have done a service entrance, what I call, so that the USB-C port is available if you wanted to reprogram the display later on. Also on the design of the 175, it is not flush. There's about two millimeters where the display is protected, so you technically don't need any feet. It'll look really slick without the feet and the display. By the switch we're adding, we're also adding the possibility to add four feet because you need to create some height to not distress the switch. Without the switch, those feet are not necessary, but we've added them for the 170. So you see two designs here, 170 that will actually have feet and a switch, and 175 that we're gonna do without the switch and the necessarily feed. This one's gonna look a little bit more slick, but this will have more functionality. So in this version, we've already replaced the 47 microfarad capacitor, removed power and line inputs, 
and soldered some wires on there. We need five, two for power and three for left, right and ground line input so the display will work perfectly. So now we've opened the 170, the 175 board looks the same. Power can get be soldered straight from these two connectors plus and minus five volt. That is the minimum that this display needs to operate. It will work on battery and regular power. And also here are the connectors for right, left, and there is right, there is left, and ground that we can solder on straight to the board. stars tonight I promise I will shoot them all out of the sky for you Did you know that I'll do really happy with the outcome of this design. Both features look really nice. I don't know what my preference is. I like the sleekness with not having the feet and the switch, but then again, the battery only lasts for 75 minutes if you leave this continuously running, like with this version on the 175 without a switch. So therefore, a switch is a good option. You could also come up with an idea where there is like a light sensor, you pick up the unit and the display activates itself. There are limitless possibilities. So we're going to add this to the DCC Museum's website, dccmuseum.com shop. 
if you want to upgrade your 170 or 175 and in the future we will see if we can do any other portables. The thickness is added about 15 millimeters so that's really not too bad compared to the original but it really is a cool 21st century addition to a DCC portable. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.